Oh, my bad. I didn't realize y'all was here already. So this video has been sponsored by HelloFresh and more on that later. So I've been getting a lot of questions on how to get the Akai VSTs and instruments working in other softwares like Ableton, FL Studio, and more. And I believe I figured out a way to do that. And we're going to go over that today. Follow me. This video has been brought to you by HelloFresh. Now let's get to the kitchen. All right, y'all, listen. This is because I can't recommend nothing for you that I can't try myself. So we about to hook this up. All right, y'all, now we got our broccoli ready. We got our water boiling, about to drop the noodles in. It's going down in here. Check this out. When they say fresh, they mean fresh, because if this ain't fresh shrimp, I don't know what it is. Took about 25 minutes. And here's the finished product. It looks amazing, it smells amazing. We're gonna find out if it tastes the same in a minute. All right, we back in the lab. Let's see what this thing is about. It's on point. It's definitely on point. I'm about to smash this. Mm. So I gotta tell you, with HelloFresh, they deliver weekly meals to your doorstep and your taste buds and dietary needs do not have to suffer in the process. As you can see, the meal prep is very easy and very fast. Some of these dishes, just like this one, can be completed in 15 minutes. <laughs> Listen, skip the grocery store and eat good while you're doing it. Click the link in the description and you will receive a limited time discount and free delivery on your first order. And like I said at the beginning, I can't recommend nothing to you that I'm not willing to try myself. And this is on point. Believe me, I wouldn't even lie to you. Now this process is a computer-based installation. It is not for standalone MPCs. So if you only wanna work in standalone, this video may not be helpful to you. Now, if you are someone who likes to work on a computer and you use multiple DAWs or something outside of the MPC software, this is what you might need in order to get this installed on your computer for use in those other platforms. Now, I currently have a project here. It's a fairly simple project, mainly a drum program with light instrumentation, a little bounce to it. Let's go ahead and play that. And then I'm gonna open up the Air Flavor Pro. Now, as you can see, I currently have the Air Flavor Pro installed and it is on the master track. The problem is that this version of Air Flavor Pro only seems to work inside the MPC software and doesn't work in other DAWs. So if you wanted to open up, for instance, Ableton or FL Studio, this version of the plugin would not work. Also note that this plugin is installed on my computer as you can see it right here. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way for now. And what we've previously had is the Akai Synth Content Manager, which is this right here. Now, a lot of people have already used this. I've showed people how to use this in the past in order to get their instruments installed on the MPC, on the computer and in standalone. As we can see here, it says all of the instruments are installed and ready to go. But I noticed when I opened up other DAWs, I used Cubase, I used Ableton, um, a few others, I was not able to find these plugins for use inside those DAWs. So I was trying to figure out why is this not working? So what I did is I logged into my Akai account, which is what you can see right here. And what I did was clicked on one of the software instruments. And what I noticed is this new getting started with DAW users, A-U-V-S-T-A-A-X, which is all the plugins. And I clicked on the MPC download. If you're using a PC, you'll obviously have to click the PC download. And what that gave me is something very similar to the Akai MPC Synth Content Manager that we already have. I'm gonna show you that now. This is the new InMusic Software Control Center. So as you can see here, it has all of the plugins listed 
and it lets you know if it's downloaded, installed, or needs an update. And as you can see, it says I need updates for everything except for the new Flex Beat, which I previewed a couple of videos back. So we're gonna go to Flavor Pro. It says that I need to download it and install it. As you saw, it was already installed in the MPC itself. So I'm sure that this is the VST version that will work in other DAWs. So let's go ahead and download that. Now it says install, we're gonna click on install. We get the walkthrough for the installation. We're just gonna go through that very quickly. Installation was successful. I'm not gonna do every single one right now. But now it says that we have Air Flavor Pro installed and it should be the VST version. Now, in order to be sure of that, let's pop open Ableton. Then we're gonna go into our settings and plugins. And we're gonna rescan our plugins to make sure that it picks up the new plugin. Now, depending on how many plugins you have, this will take a while. I'm gonna speed past this part of the video and we'll come back when it's done rescanning these plugins because I do have a ton of plugins. Okay, so now that it's done scanning these new plugins, we're gonna go to plugins, VST, and we're gonna see if we can find Air Flavor Pro. And so here it is right here. I do see two versions of the Air Flavor Pro. I just drag one into Ableton. And there it is. Now, as you can see, that definitely worked with a VST effects plugin. Let's see if it also works with the instrument plugin. So now we're going to go for, uh, what do we have? Let's try the fabric collection. All right, now we have the fabric collection downloaded. Let's click install. Should be the same process and we'll do this quick walkthrough. And once this is done, we're gonna open up Ableton and scan for new plugins again, and we should be able to open up instruments from the Fabric Collection inside of Ableton as well. Now the installation was successful. And let's go see if it works in Ableton. It does say it's installed. We can click on it to open it, but I'm gonna try it in Ableton. I'm gonna close down the Flavor Pro. We're gonna go to our settings again go down to our plugins and rescan so it's going to pick up the new plugins and it's a good idea anytime you install new plugins on your computer system to rescan it to make sure it picks up everything that's new otherwise there may be cases where you have plugins on your computer but you don't see them in that particular DAW that you're using now that that's done let's see if we can find the fabric collection in here somewhere all right, cool. Here is the Fabric Electric Piano and the Fabric Piano Fabric XL. So let's pull Fabric XL over. And there it is. Fabric XL, working at Ableton. All right, that's all I got for this video. I hope it helped you out a lot because it definitely helped me out personally. As always, I'm out.